It is uh, Sunday, March 8th, 2015. It is uh, International Women's Day. I'm here in front of the uh, Montreal Gazette's uh, editorial offices on St. Catherine Street in downtown Montreal. Just doing a little uh, impromptu protest against the fact that the Gazette's uh, justice reporter, Sue Montgomery, who I should mention is a member of the Unitarian Church of Montreal, uh, is uh, complicit in the uh, Unitarian Universalist cover-up and denial of clergy misconduct of all kinds, uh, but a subset of Unitarian Universalist clergy misconduct is, of course, clergy sexual misconduct, and a subset of Unitarian Universalist uh, clergy sexual misconduct is uh, you know, such despicable crimes as pedophilia and rape, to borrow a choice phrase from uh, Stegman Elliott, Barrister's and Solicitor's litigation lawyer, Maitre Marc Andre Coulomb, uh, who was hired by the Unitarian Universal Association to falsely accuse me of the arcade crime of blasphemous libel and Bill Cosby style legal bullying that clearly sought to intimidate me into removing blog posts about Unitarian Universalist ministers who not only engage in what Maitre Cologne describes as such despicable crimes as pedophilia and rape, uh, but have actually been convicted of such despicable crimes and uh, sentenced to jail terms for committing those crimes. Uh, so I brought it to the attention of uh, Gazette Justice reporter Sue Montgomery uh, soon after this accusation was made against me. I asked Sue Montgomery, or I made it clear to Sue Montgomery that I thought this was a newsworthy story that uh, merited being uh, reported in the Gazette. Sue Montgomery never reported that story. Uh, in addition to the fact that Sue Montgomery never reported that story, uh, the Gazette, as a newspaper, never reported the story either. When it became clear that uh, Sue Montgomery uh, was not going to cover the story, basically refusing to do so, um, I did contact the Gazette City Desk on several occasions, trying to, Gazette, trying to get the Gazette to report the story, and the City Desk repeatedly refused to do so, uh, pretending you know, that the story you know, wasn't newsworthy for one reason or another. Usually very, very lame excuses. Uh, I think we can safely say that uh, the attempted misuse of Canada's blasphemy law by American Unitarian Universalists uh, and indeed atheist Unitarian Universalists to try and cover up and hide uh, such despicable crimes as pedophilia and rape committed by certain Unitarian Universalist ministers is a newsworthy story. But Sue Montgomery, I guess because she's a Montreal Unitarian and thus a Unitarian Universalist herself, uh, did not want to cover that story, didn't want to uh, I guess tarnish the image of her own religious community. Um, and yet she sets herself up a couple of years later as this great champion of women who've been raped uh, but never reported their rapes to the police and so on. So on the one hand, Sue Montgomery tries to present herself as a, as a uh, you know, advocate and champion for women who've been raped. On the other hand, she's complicit and even actively involved in Unitarian Universalist cover-up and denial of, as I said, what Stegman Elliott, Barristers and Solicitors Litigation Lawyer, describes as such despicable crimes as pedophilia and rape. Sue Montgomery has known for over two years that the uh, Unitarian Universalist Association has falsely accused me the criminal act of blasphemy libel in an effort to intimidate me into removing blog posts about Unitarian Universal to be convicted of such despicable crimes as pedophilia and rape, and yet Sue Montgomery, the so-called justice reporter for the Montreal Gazette, has never reported that story. I should add that uh, I have done this little protest now uh, since early December of 2014 in front of the Gazette, a few impromptu protests. I also protested outside of La Tulip uh, when a uh, event related to uh, Sue Montgomery's being raped, never reported campaign was being held. Um, in fact, the night that I was doing that protest, I was actually served with another 
arrogant and aggressive cease and desist demand letter. This time from Gowlings, Henderson and Lafleur uh, lawyer Mark Banty uh, for allegedly libeling Sue Montgomery for accusing her of being complicit in Unitarian Universalist cover-up and denial of clergy sexual misconduct, for accusing her of even being actively involved in Unitarian Universalist uh, cover-up and denial of clergy misconduct, specifically being actively involved in efforts by the Unitarian Church of Montreal to force an end to my protest in front of the church. Um, I challenge that uh, or those accusations immediately after receiving the letter uh, in December 4th, December, on December 4th of 2014, so just over three months ago. Um, I haven't heard back from uh, Mark Bandy, I haven't heard back from Sue Montgomery, and most interestingly, um, I've done this protest a few times now in uh, December and I think also January in front of the Gazette. Um, I just learned recently that Sue Montgomery has taken an early retirement from the Gazette. She took a buyout offer from Post Media and is no longer working for the Gazette. So I just find it a little bit of an interesting uh, uh, coincidence, shall we say, that Sue Montgomery uh, is no longer working for the Gazette soon after the media lawyer who, who works for the Gazette, uh, Mark Banty, accused me of uh, libeling Sue and so on. And soon after I challenged that accusation, I said, no, actually I'm telling the truth about Sue. Um, I do find it an interesting little coincidence that uh, within a, a very short time period after challenging that uh, false libel accusation against me that uh, Sue Montgomery is no longer working for the Gazette. You know, interesting little coincidence.